Aurélie Callier, Maastricht University. Talking to cells, surface topography as a tool to optimize biomaterials. Yeah, hello. So my name is Aurélie and uh, I'm from Maastricht University. Um, from uh, the Merlin Institute, where we combine various technologies um, to actually advance the field of regenerative medicine. Now, the main question we are interested in is whether cells can read Braille. Uh, and a very nice example is shown here. So it was noticed that the shark skin actually allows for very little bacterial growth and bacterial attachment. And it, is, uh, it was shown to be related to the structure of the shark skin. So what they did was actually they kind of um, yeah, put this structure in a biomaterial and then they show that indeed due to only the surface topography there's very little um, bacterial growth. Now we want to understand this actually better and so we developed a high throughput screening device where we can look at the interaction of a biomaterial and the surface topography um, with the cell behavior and this for more than 2,000 different topographies. And so here you can see how it is built up. So you have the primitives, um, which combine into a particular feature, and these are then arrayed on the, um, the chip. And so what we notice is if we put cells on this chip, that these cells have a various uh, amount of cell morphologies, and also that the nucleus can actually get a, a variety of shapes. But moreover, um, and more importantly, is actually that we can affect the cell behavior. So for example, we see here that the cells, um, yeah, actually on the right hand side, they should be moving a bit, but still on the topography, they're moving much more. Um, so really depending on the topography, we can induce different behaviors. So we performed a particular screen and what we do then is actually we put cells on this chip, so it's like kind of like a microarray, um, and we can stain these cells, for example, for an osteogenic marker, as we did here. And so we can see which surfaces induce a high expression or not. And so as you can see, we can identify these surfaces. And more importantly, we can actually relate the cell shape um, to this uh, phenotypic outcome and also the design of the surface topography to the um, phenotypical outcome. So this makes it very interesting because it means that we can actually design the behavior of the cell. So to conclude, um, <coughs> I hope I have convinced you that biomaterials contain instructive uh, signals, that cells can read braille, although we do not yet fully understand the language, and that we can use this to actually design novel uh, medical devices. Thank you.